Welcome back to Minecraft Survival with the Rude Man. And this is episode three. I'm still thinking of... Uh, oh, it's getting dark. I'm still thinking of uh, live streaming, but I want to get some of the very first uh, survival things out of the way before I do the live stream. The live stream is going to be a lot of mining. So let me... Notice I've got bib overalls because I'm a farmer. <laughs> like farm sim. Get it? Oh, anyway. Um... Let me get to the bed because it's getting dark and I don't want to die. I sleep with my trusty pick. Uh, didn't even take it out of my hand. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we were digging the mine. I went down there long enough to find some iron. So I have several pieces of iron. I only have seven. Several, seven, seven, several. Um... And I didn't have a bucket, so I've got to be careful not to fall down the hole here. So I'm going to fix that with a bucket. But I also need a pickaxe because, if you remember, I found some diamonds. You can always use diamonds, right? So let's see here. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Yes, I do. Uh, let's see. We're going to do that and that. And we're going to make ourselves, from the very least, a, a iron pickaxe. Let's do that. I'm going to replace that there. Now, I've only got four pieces left. It's going to take three to make a bucket. So you can see how valuable this is. Eventually, and it's not going to be that long all out, I'm going to make myself an iron golem uh, machine, factory type thing, so that I can get all the iron I need. Now, um, I've got big plans here I want to talk about, and then we'll go down and do what I need to do. See, I am at, if you hit F3, it gives you all of this information. Now, the information that I'm most uh, uh, interested in most of the time is about not quite uh, a third of the way down the uh, page here. You're going to see a space, and it says X, Y, Z. Those are my coordinates. X is longitude, Z is latitude, and the one in the middle is how high you are from bedrock. Now, bedrock is the complete bottom of the world. Once you dig through that, if you could, and it takes a trick to do it, you would just fall into a void. So, zero is uh, bedrock. Now, if you remember, I took my mind down to level 11, which was 11 blocks above bedrock that's that's how you know what's going on there now if you see if i'm walking this way i'm heading if you go uh it says xyz it says block it says chunk then it says facing and it says west okay so that's i'm facing west now i'm facing north now i'm facing east and south so if you're facing west and watch the numbers move now the numbers that are moving obviously i'm not straight or the never clear to the right wouldn't move at all. It's barely moving. But the one on the left is moving each block that I move. See, that's block 33, 26, 33. If I go to the next one, it's 32, 31. So I know if I'm looking for, say, 26, 75, I'm going the wrong direction because my numbers are going down. To get to 26, 75, I'd have to go in this direction. Okay, so that's how you work out your coordinates. And the same with the other one. The third number is minus one, uh, 272, and if I'm heading uh, south and north, I'm going down. Now I'm going up. Okay, we're going to be using this because I'm at level, right here, I'm at level 74. If I'm jumping, see, 74, 75, 74, 75. Okay, um, I want to take this whole area here, almost as far as you can see, down to level 70 and there's a reason I'm doing that um, mainly because um, that's where a lot of it already is and I just want to take these highlights out if you know what I mean quite a bit of this land is already level 70 you know all the way back until we get to about in here but even back over here is level 70 so here's what the deal is let me turn this off because I can't see, and I know you can't either. Um, if you look at where most of my land here is at level 70, if I clear all this out, 
all this excess stuff that's up there and all this up here. I'm going to have a lot of room to build factories and build houses and storage and everything I'm going to need. It's going to be a lot neater. Now, all the blocks that I'm going to get by digging all of this dirt up is going to fill in these water holes because I don't need those. I've got a river right over here. Uh, also, it's going to... I'm going to be using that to fill in the places that are not level 70. So these holes over here, if I get clear over here, all of that area down there, all of that, I can fill all of that in with all the dirt I'm going to get from all of that. Now, this area over here that I've got... Uh, plotted out here. I want to take this down to level 70. Let's see where I'm at now. I'm at 69. Okay, so this has got to come up to about here, level 70. So I'm going to fill this in, but I'm going to dig that up to do it. Um, that log right there, there's a log up in those trees right there, one right there, and one right there. This is going to be eventually my new log farm, my wood farm, my tree farm, whatever you want to call it. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to leave this open down here. Uh, let's see, it's going to be two blocks. So I'm going to I'm going to be down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, tracks in. There's going to be railroad tracks that go all the way to that end and back 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 and back. And back. Huh? Hey, look, it's a trader. What do you got for sale? Huh? Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. No, seriously. Where's he going? Huh? Where are you going? Oh, he's got kelp, huh? yellow dye, pumpkin seeds, uh, acacia saplings, brown dye, and bucket of puffer fish. He doesn't have anything that I don't have access to uh -huh. right where I'm at. And so and he's wanting quite a bit of stuff for that. So he doesn't have anything I need. Uh -huh. Getting back to this, those railroad tracks going back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm going to build uh, a floor uh -huh. here that I'll have all my trees coming up through. And down below is uh -huh. going to be that railroad track with a hopper cart. So that anything that falls off the trees to the ground uh -huh. is going to be picked up by that hopper cart. So I don't have to run all over picking everything up. Okay. Then, uh -huh. once I get that done, I'm going to build a storage unit here to store all the stuff that comes from the trees. And I'm going to build a charcoal machine to make all the charcoal I need. Because I don't want to have to keep going and mining for coal. And we can do that fairly simply. But I'm going to need to go to the nether to do that because I need some uh, redstone dust. And I'm going to need some soul sand. And I'm going to need um, those uh, crystal shard things, the nether shards down there. Because I need to make comparators and things like that. The next thing I'm going to do, uh, as far as machines, is we need uh, food. See those cows over there? I'm going to build that. So, let's see. Let me eat here. But, but, but you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's go down and get those diamonds while I'm thinking about it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need water. That's what I need the bucket for. I'll tell you what. Iron is such a precious commodity. Iron is almost more important. I think it is, actually. Iron is more important than diamonds. You need diamonds initially to get certain things because I need uh, diamonds to get the obsidian so I can go to the nether. But iron is used for everything. So let's go down. I'm going to build a bubble elevator to get up and down, but that'll be a story for after I get to the nether. That's what I need the soul stone for. I got so many things running through my head that I want to do, and I want it all done now. But we'll get to it. And so don't um, don't fear. Uh, don't, don't let me draw you ahead of us. So, oh, did I not bring... I didn't. Well, you know what? I'm going to need one anyway. Let's make a crafting table. Okay. And then uh, let's just set it down right here for now. Right there for now. 
And let's see, what was it I was thinking I needed? I needed a ladder. So ladder. How do you make a ladder? This is the worst thing for me is remembering all these silly recipes. Okay, that's what I got right there. I need one of those. I don't need three, just one. But I'll take the other two. And actually, you know what would be better than that? Is a sign. Let's see. How do you make a sign? Make a sign with a stick and something like that. That's going to work better than than the... Uh... There we go. Actually, this is going to work better for me. So uh, let's get that redstone. I'm going to use the iron. No, I'm going to use the stone. No, I need the iron to get the redstone. That's another reason I needed iron, wasn't it? Okay. And then let's get that and that and that. We're going to need this to make the comparator. Let's get all of this. And then let's take... Uh, I need some stone. Doggone it. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to be building in here. Let's uh, let's just go in here a second. I need to build myself a room. I always do this when I make my first mine close to the elevator here. Close to the stairs up, I like to make a room that I can put furnaces in, storage in, so that everything I mine, I can I can leave here. So I'm not having to pack it up. And then eventually... God, that scared the hell out of me. Eventually, I'll build a uh, an elevator, an item elevator, to poop everything upstairs. But right now, I just want to build a little bit of a room here. Where's my uh, shovel? Got to remember not to use my iron pick. I don't have iron. So I want to... Jeez, did you see that snapping? We call that rubber banding. Okay. I've got some blocks now. I needed some blocks because I want to fill this back in here. Just for the time being. Uh, where's my cobblestone? There it is. All right, I'll fill this back in for now because I want to put a sign up. Let's put a sign right there. And then we're going to throw some water in. Now, and you notice there's no ladder on the bottom here because actually mobs can climb your ladders. So in this case, you have to come and jump a little bit and get up there. But here's why I put that water there. From the top now, I don't have to worry about falling. Now, let's say I'm do 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 do, do and I don't re you know watch what I'm doing, and I go over to the right a little bit. Oh shit! Now I'm dead. But the water stops my fall. And now, from the very top now, I can just jump down beside the ladder and quickly get down here. So that's kind of cool. Let's get this diamond now. I'm going to use the iron pick. Whoa, diamonds! Advancement made. We're moving up in the world. All right, so the very, 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 very first thing, I got four diamonds. I need three to make a pick. Isn't that convenient? So now I'm sure we're going to find more diamonds, but this is pretty exciting when you find your first, uh, at least your first three so you can make a diamond pick because, they're, um, like I said, I can't get obsidian without a diamond pick. So I got to remember to fill up my water bucket too. So anyway, there you go. Now, all we need to do now is take a couple of these and the diamonds that are so precious and make ourselves a pickaxe. I'm going to put it up here so I can't easily get to it. I don't want to easily get to it because I want to, um, you know, make sure that I don't use it up uh, just willy-nilly. 
All right, let's go grab that real quick while we're down here. Now, um, upstairs when I was talking about where I want my stuff to go, there's a reason for that. I have my own server. I used to have uh, a couple of different servers. I used to have a, um, a server that I bought on the Minecraft Realms that other people could come and play that were from my YouTube page. It cost money every month, of course, and it got to the point where uh, I didn't have a lot of time to go and play. And so, oh, geez, people stopped playing unless I was there with them. And so when I wasn't there, nobody was playing it. It was, oh, geez. Go away. Leave me alone. So anyway, what was I saying? Um, I had a server. People kind of stopped playing because they would only come in if I was on. Well, I didn't have a lot of time to come on because I was busy making YouTube videos and such, you know. And so it was costing me some money every month. So I do have one. I've got, uh, uh, I build my own computers and I've got several PCs setting here. i got the one that I'm gaming on here. I've got a Threadripper built up so that I can do my editing and, and rendering. Uh, it's pretty powerful. And then I've got a couple other computers that I can just diddle around on. There's one of them that is a pretty good size. It's pretty powerful. And I don't really use it for anything. And so uh, I put a server on it for my family, for me and my family. Um, when uh, Addie's here playing with me, she's 11 now. Uh, my son, he'll come in and play with us sometimes. And so it's just kind of a private server that I've got. And I do have a world that I'm playing on. All right, good. Um, I didn't try too hard to keep from that guy blowing up because uh, he saved me a lot of time digging there. Hey, you're on fire. Oh, that reminds me. Let me go fill my bucket up. You always want a bucket of water when you go mining down in, or caving because... Uh, because you never know when you're going to catch yourself on fire in lava. You can put yourself out that way. Um, if you if you run into lava and you want to get rid of it, you can put your bucket of water out. And you can do something kind of cool. Watch this. I'll show you. I got my bucket of water. Let me get up here. Oh, geez. There's another creeper. i got to be careful. Uh, you can lay your bucket of water down. It'll knock all that stuff off. But then you can pick it right back up. See that? I got my water back. So you can do that. To get rid of grass and stuff. Oh, no, there's a thought. Hey, you. All right, I wanted to kill him because I wanted the, uh, the uh, gunpowder. All right, let me grab my water before I forget. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, so that's temporary there. This wood farm's going to be temporary because I'm going to... Where am I? I'm going to be building a house right around here. I'm thinking about building my house around about here over this, overlooking this river here. And so I've got plans for other stuff to go around here, buildings and such. Uh, I want my iron farm here someplace close by. And, uh, yeah. So that's why I'm staking that out. I've got a world that I'm playing that I've already done a lot of stuff on. And so that's my test, kind of, kind of my test world. It's on my server. And it's kind of my test world. So when I go to build my big house here, I'm going to be using that world as a template. Okay, so first off, though, I want to put in a cow farm real quick. And let's see, cow farm, I'm going to put that over here somewhere. I don't like uh, eating sheep for some reason. I don't mind chickens and cows, but 
I'm going to put this away from my house because they're really noisy. Okay, so I need to find more iron. I forgot. I need iron to make that, to build that. So let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Definitely put that diamond away before I lose it. I don't need any of this stuff. That iron's going to be... Uh, the rotten flesh, actually, you don't really need the rotten flesh except for you may need it for um, trading, if you get into trading. So, let's see. I don't need the sticks. Uh, I've got some of that. I got that. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go down mining. I need to find some more iron. Now, I'm going to build some things, but everything I need kind of needs iron. See how slick that is? Okay, now this little room in here. Let me put um, a couple of chests down so we've got some storage. And then... Let's uh, dig the rest of this out a little bit. Okay. Now, let's grab that. What am I doing? Where's my axe? Yeah, I should always use the proper tool. I don't always. I don't always, but you should. I'll tell you when it becomes really important. It's like if you're digging, mining, and you come into some gravel, and you use your pick or your axe to chop the gravel, you're missing out. Because uh, you need, gravel will throw down every once in a while um, flint. And you're going to need flint eventually and if you use a pickaxe or a sh if you use the wrong tool you're not going to get what you need so you should always use the right tool and don't don't do as i do because uh, i don't always do what i'm supposed to do that's why i say i do things a rude man way and it's not always the right way but it's always my way hey we found some gold now, you would think that everybody would be jumping up and down. Gold, gold. Gold is okay, but it's not the big deal. Like I said, iron's the best thing that you can find because you use so much of it. Everything takes iron. Now, you do need gold to make um, certain things. One of the things you need to make gold for is to make uh, powered rails for your transportation. Let's use my iron pick on this. So there's some things you can use gold for. You can use gold on apples to make special apples that you can eat that replenish your your health and stuff like that. Golden apples. That's going to be handy. Um, what am I trying to do this sword for? This is going to be handy for the time being, but I'm going to make a charcoal machine eventually. I'm going to need a comparator to do that, though, and I'm going to need uh, hoppers. Hoppers are another thing that you use a lot of when you're building things. Uh, but it takes iron. Iron. Everything takes iron. Rails for the minecarts are good. They're going to take iron. Buckets. Shears. Almost everything. You use iron for everything. Okay, how far did I go down some of these? I didn't get very far down this one. Let's... Uh, do that now. Again, right now I'm looking for iron. I need lots of it. Wow. A little bit of rubber banding there. Because I want to make... Um, a, I need food. I want to make a cow machine. A cow killing machine. I'll get leather and, and raw beef out of it. I need leather for books, because you want to do some enchanting. And, of course, you need uh, meat to eat. Oops, that's not what I thought it was. I thought that was gravel. Or cobblestone, one of the two. Where's the iron? Come on.
I'm gonna run out of this stone pickaxe. Hope I got a spare. Now you see what I oh jeez. This is what I'm talking about as far as live streaming. Uh you do a lot of this mining, which is and it's kind of boring to do. And I don't mind doing it because it's kind of relaxing for me, but can you imagine me doing this for an hour and you watching me? That's what the live stream's for. Because I can do this during a live stream and I don't mind so much because uh, people have the they have the opportunity to go. They can come and go as much as they want. They can come in, watch five minutes, say, okay, that's boring, and leave. Uh, and then maybe the next time they come in, I'm doing something interesting, and they stay. So I don't I don't feel so bad. But if I did a YouTube video of 45 minutes and all I'm doing is mining, you know what you know what I'm talking about. Let's see, iron, iron. You get a lot of this. It doesn't take much of this. I mean, if you look, I've only gotten just a few pieces. And um, and I've, I've already packed up just because, remember, I put what I got the last time up in the, in the uh, chest. I got 37 out of that. I got 10 gold. Sweet. How far am I getting done? Quite a ways. All right. Let's start another another arm. What would you call these anyway? I was going to say another um, mine, another shaft, but this isn't really a shaft, is it? Maybe it is. It's a vertical shaft. So I always think of a shaft as being up and down, but that's not necessarily right, is it? It could be a vertical shaft or horizontal shaft. Now this is why I carry a uh, some um, a bucket of water. I'm digging down here, and all of a sudden, behind that block is lava. Well, look, it's going to come right at me. So, but if I can, if I catch on fire, I can grab that bucket of water and douse myself off and be okay. Maybe, you know what I mean? Got to be really fast though. Problem is, water's going to burn you, but it's not going to kill you right away. But if you stay on fire, you can't get yourself out. If you can't extinguish yourself, you're gonna die. Ooh, gold. Oh wait, I keep forgetting iron. See why iron's so important. All right, get that gold. And where's our shaft? Let's throw down. Looks like we went down that ways a ways. We went down that ways a ways. Oh, wait a minute. We should have been going that way, too. All right. Uh, yite. Look how fast those stone picks go. This one's already halfway gone. Last time I went this way, I found diamonds. I... Don't think I'm gonna be that lucky. The reason we're finding so much redstone is because we're at. Uh... Oh, look, that's where I was digging before. We're at uh, lava level, kind of. Well, and there's lava at all kinds of levels. But you're more likely to run into it the deeper you go. Kind of. Sort of. Now, the reason why at the first of the episode I, I was showing you how I was planning everything out, I did that for uh, just in case I decide to do a live stream and do all that digging and or I do that all that digging and then come back and make another episode and have all that work done so you don't have to see me digging all that dirt grabbing all the coal I can get 
there's going to come a time not too long from now that I won't give a hoot about coal. The reason is I'm going to make a machine that makes charcoal and it's uh, it's completely automatic. Once I start the machine, all I have to do is throw logs in it and it'll make charcoal for me. And uh, it uses furnaces and it will feed its own fuel to the furnace. I won't even have to do that. All I've got to do is fill it full, full of logs once in a while and it'll take care of everything else. It'll make charcoal and it'll store some of it, but if the furnaces run out of fuel, it'll refill it refill them on its own. So that's going to be fun. Uh, there goes my pick. Get one lick out. Another lick. Another lick. Yep, there it went. All right. Fine. Be that way. I gotta eat this bread because I'm getting hungry. I'm losing, I'm losing hearts. Now, when you're digging down here, also you just never know where you might find a slime chunk. And so, every once in a while, in a mine, while I'm mining, because I have to mine anyway, because I need resources. So every once in a while, I'll dig out a spot like this, right here. And then even this right here. Uh, slimes will spawn in a 3x3 three three area. But it's got to be big enough. So I'll just... Oh, I forgot about these. I forgot completely about these. Now listen, you hear uh, lava, right? Remember in the last episode, I think it was, and I told you whenever I find diamonds, I dig completely around them just in case there's lava because I don't want to lose diamonds in a lava pit so I'll completely uncover all these diamonds to make sure when I actually cut them down that I'm not going to lose them that's just me I'm paranoid I'm paranoid for a reason because it's actually happened to me iron there's iron. And especially now that I can actually hear lava. That scares me. Hear it? Yeah. See, there could be a lava right there. And if I hadn't have done that... Alright, now that I know that there's nothing underneath that they're going to fall into, I can actually... Get the diamonds. Now, eventually, I'm going to have enchanted weapons and, and tools. And uh, there are some enchantment, enchantments you can put on picks to get uh, extra items. So, I only got eight diamonds out of those four blocks. Uh, if I get put an enchantment on my pick, there could be that I could get 10 or 12. I mean, it's all random, but your odds go up a little bit about getting more than what you bargained for, which is cool. Oh, I don't want to be using my iron pickup. Pick up. So let's uh, go back to the stone for now. So my iron's almost halfway gone. And I'm using it again. Silly me. Okay, let me pick this up in case there's lava underneath. That one. And this is why they always tell you it's dangerous to uh, mine straight down because you might fall into... A pit of lava or you might fall right into something else that you how much iron did I get I got six iron okay that's not too bad I can make myself another pick with that I'm gonna need it I can make two picks with that. Like I said, I'm going to need it because I've only got a half a pick left. Alright, let's go back. Before I run out of time, uh, I'm going to meet you upstairs. Okay, I'm back up at the top here. I put my iron in, getting it cooked. And I grabbed myself 
some fences. I made some fences. I've got some oak, and I want to run down and get some wheat. We're going to run and get some of those cows, but that I might not have enough time to do it. So what I'm going to do is get the wheat first. Let's uh, just grab some wheat. All right, we got some wheat. Did they go in the water? Right there. Okay, let's see if I can get any grass seeds out of that. I did. So let's uh, take these grass seeds and replant this. And I'm going to be making a garden here in the next episode or live stream, whichever I do. We'll replace that. Now, here's what you can do. Uh, if you grab the wheat like that, cows like wheat. Right? So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to lure a, a couple of cows like this. See, they will follow me now. And I'm going to take them back one at a time. I only need two to start with. Come on, cow. Come on. I got too far away. Sometimes they lose interest for a second and then they'll come back. Come on. Time consuming. Come on. Yeah, I got a dumb one, I think. See, he's trying. They just don't swim very well. Come on. I know you're interested. There he comes. They don't like the water for some reason. Anyway, we're going to lure this guy. Now, I'm going to lose him because I'm not ready for him. But, like I said, I'm running out of time. Okay, so that shows you what I can do. I can make a barrel. Let's get that barrel. I'm going to bring it down here. Um, okay, what do I need the iron for? I was going to make a hopper. So let's do that. Get ahead of myself here. Oh, where's the hopper at? Um, I need a chest. I can't find the recipe. And then I need uh, that, 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 and that. That will give me a hopper. Okay, now, let's run down here where I want to build this. If you're going to build something like an animal machine, chicken, cows, sheep, any of that, you want to make sure you get it someplace because they're so noisy. They're just noisy. Let's see here. Take that out, and I want the barrel facing out. There we go. And then I need the hopper to go in the back like that. And then we're going to put shift and click. The reason why you have to shift click is uh, because that opens. If you just click on that, you can't place anything here because it's going to open that. So if I shift click, then I can place it on the side of the barrel. That's what I had to do with that. So we're going to do that, that, and that. And we're going to fill this in like this. I'm going to put one there, one there, one there, one there. And um, eventually I'm going to put a fence post here over this. But first, I'm going to dump some water down there. Whoops. Oh, man. I need that water back. I want the water way down there on top of the hopper. Like that. All right, now I'm going to take my wheat and grab a cow. Come on, Q. This is the hard part. The hard part's not getting the cow. All you got to do is wave some wheat in front of it. The hard part is going to get him inside that block. That's going to be the hard part. So he follows me. Come on. Aren't you not? Aren't you? Are you not hungry? Come on. I know you are. Where am I at? Over here. Come on. And you lure him up here. Oops. Keep him up here. And you're going to try to get him to fall in that hole right there. See? That's what I mean by being hard. Let me see if I can move this way. 
Come on, fall in the hole. Come on. Oh, he's not going to do it, is he? Right, maybe I can nudge him. Oh, so hard. Come on, fall in the hole. Fall in. Come on. Don't go. This is so hard to do. Come on. No. Come on. Come this way. Hurry up. It's going to get dark on me. All right. Let me see if I can push him. Oh. Dark on it. Hang on. I'm going to have to go sleep. It's going to get dark and I don't want to get killed. And then grab the wheat. Come on, buddy. We got a little bit more room to maneuver here. Oh! I fell off. Stay up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! No! No! Let me see if I can... Push him around. Oh, dang it. I might have to put more logs around. So I've got more room to stand. I've done this before and it's not been that hard. See if we can get him back up here. Come on, cow, over here. Over on this side. Come on. You can do it. Come on. All right, stand still. Stand still. Finally, finally, finally. Okay, hang on. I'm going to go get another cow. Um, I don't think he can get out of there, but just in case, let me put that on top of him. Right, I'm going to go get another cow. Hang on. That other cow. That other cow would quit pushing it. in come on just a little more there finally 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 there you're trapped all right what an ordeal Okay, we can get rid of this, and that, and this, and that last corner over there. Now, here's how this thing works. Alright, let's see. Let me leave that here for now. I'll make, some, I'll make some steps here, but let's just clean this up. I don't need this. Gosh, I, I worked off all my food just getting this thing done. Okay, don't need that. Now, here's what you do. 
All right, you get your wheat and you breed these things up. Now they just made a baby, okay? They just made a baby. Once there's so there's three of them now instead of two in there. Every once in a while, I'm going to come back and feed them wheat, and they're going to make another baby. So then there'll be uh, four. And then I'll come back and feed the four, and they'll make two more. Then I'll come back, and each time I come back, they'll they'll make more. When they reach 25, then the 26th one, this thing will only hold 25. The 26th one will die. When it does, it will drop stuff. Oh, get this stuff out of here. There's that mutton. I need to cook that because I'm hungry. Um... When when that dies, it's going to leave leather and uh, and food down here. So there you go. That's how this thing's going to work. Oh my god! Uh, now all I have to do is breed them up, and then eventually I'll start getting uh, meat and leather out of that. So with that, I'm going to end this episode. And when I come back, uh, we'll build something else. I uh, hope to see you there. Bye for now. <laughs>